Hello everyone, today you are going to learn how to create query parameters in your Lumen API. My name is Jörg Vegas and watch to the end so you don't find any bugs in your code. First thing I'm going to show you guys is that we are still using the last uh, API we made in the video with the Lumen API database. Open your champ and access your localhost. We already have this data in our table colors, okay? We only have the, the ID, the name and if it's dark or not. So the next thing I'm going to show you guys is where you need to go. Okay, app, HTTP, controllers and color controller. Now let's go to the Lumen API documentation. Copy this, not everything, wait. Copy on your serving application saving your application then we cannot paste it because we are in the restful api video you need to go to the api so cd api in here we are going to paste this so your app is served now in here we are going to search for everything in our api which is local host two dots eight thousand api colors and in here we are going to check all our colors Okay, after that, we are going to search for the query parameter we want to use. The first one is going to be limit. And the limit will work like this. However, it is not working because we did not made it. No, it's not only like this. Question mark, the name of the parameter, and lastly, the number of limits. So too, and it's not working as well. The first change we need to make is accepting our use in here. Here, we need this, the illuminate support for KDB. I told you to enable the facades, right? And comment it. After that, we are going to change here. We need to receive, start receiving the request. We are going to receive a, an object from the request, like the store and the ID, because before post, you need to send the content in the header and in this in the ID, in the, the thing as well. Now we are going to receive it in the get as well. First thing is going to be accessing the variable request, search for the limit because it's going to be the first one. You are going to search for the limit object. You need to search for the input. Input and inside the input, we are going to find the limit. But we need to store this somewhere. And you are going to store it in the colors variable. Now, you are going to use to first create the limit and we are going to check no not call it limit it makes only sense now we are going to start using the limit we are going to make a condition if we have a limit in introduced so it not null if you get an, a, any limit we are going to make a select which is going to be colors we are going to work with colors and we are going to change this later this return is going to be equal to the database db it's a function from here you see we are going to select the table we are going to use which is going to be the colors the only one we have then instead of going front we can we can but i'm going to put an enter and introduce the limit the limit of it is going to simply be the limit that the user introduces and in here we are going to get so this variable will have this value now lastly we are going to change it right now if colors it's going to be different from null we are going no we are not going to return like this we are going to return like this let me yes yes color not color all but we are going to put colors if it's different from null if it's null if you don't have any colors you are going to put else and send it like this why if we use query parameters at all we are going to use the colors if we do not use them we are going to use this one mm. To me, it makes a lot of sense. Now, let's already try it out. The limit of two. We send it and we are already getting only the first two. Now, the name. It's going to be made before because if you do it after, you will not be able to first check the names and then only return the first as an example three blues you are going to re if you search for blue but the first thing on the limit doesn't have blue on the table doesn't have blue it will not show any blue so you must do it first in here we are going to search for the name and now we are going to just copy this limit in instead of limit we are going to change it to name name in here no, we can remove this limit and we are going to put a get not a get but a where yes a where in the first where we are going to search a name of the camp of the table this name is of the table is going to be like since we are going to work with string with varchar we are not going to use numbers instead of equals we are going to put like and after this we are going to put some something very strange instead of only putting here the the variable name so let me show you how it will work you could search for here name you could search for gray and it will appear only the gray but if i only put gra instead of gray it will not find anything 
to be able to do that we are going to add these double quotes and the percentage symbol as in mysql this helps us to find everything in the front so in this example we are going to get this now but if we only put r only get red so if you want to also get gray in the r everything with the in with the, in the letter we are going to put before and after which is going to give us everything with r now it is going to be three right but if we put this and symbol limit and equals to two not this i'm sorry guys <laughs> two we will receive the first two with r's so in here you already have these three things well in this video you learned how to create query parameters you can add a couple more things such as try catches so your code doesn't completely break in a thousand pieces could make something like this catch and we are in here you put this thing exception then here and we could put a return response as error and returning the 400 if anything happens such as making something in the middle of the limit you'll simply say that we don't have anything in the limit but if we put colors slash not slash hmm, colors s no it is really just going to send it somewhere else well i don't know guys if you simply want to be sure that this will not lead to an error a major error you could put simply the try catch and if anything any exception works the error appears and i thought everything i want to tell you guys so it's everything guys hope you guys enjoyed and see you soon